Hey guys, so I just finished recording this look for you. I do wear glasses and I wanted to just show how you can achieve a gorgeous glamorous look with um wearing them. I do not wear uh I do not wear contact lenses, so I don't have any lashes on today. I actually can take off my glasses. I have just my natural lashes and I didn't contour or um bronze. I just put on some blush and highlight. I'm looking in my mirror. And I just did like a nudie, um, mauve nude lip. And just some nice little uh, sultry eyes. And I thought it was cute. And yes, yeah, stay tuned. I will link everything or put what I uh, use in the description uh, bar below. And all, as well as my social media accounts. But uh, definitely uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos. And stay tuned for the video. I do my makeup every single morning. I mean, every single morning. Probably the only times I don't wear makeup is on the weekends if I'm not going anywhere. But majority of the time, I'm always wearing makeup. So, yeah. And I'm gonna go into that deeper brown with the same brush right here. Put that, just deepen the look up just a little bit. I'm gonna go into the Master Palette by Mario and take Isabel and Violetta mix together more of Isabel just so I can bring some warmth into the look. That's literally all I'm going to do. For the lid, I, I'm going to take a, uh, this must be Altair, one of mine, but um, this whole palette has shimmery colors. Um, as one, two, one, two, three, four matte, and the rest are all shimmery. So I don't know which one I'm going to take. I'm probably just going to go into the highlighters. And mix that one, that one, you know. I mix all the colors, so I'm probably just going to stick to this one and that one. I'm just pat that on the lid. Pat, pat, pat. If you want to use your fingers, you can use your fingers. By all means, whatever works for you. Just pat, pat, pat. I want to try a cut crease. I've never did a cut crease look before. Never have I ever did a um, cut crease look. And I was like, how do these women do it on here? So what I saw is that someone just used concealer to map out everything after they put like um, their crease and stuff in. Kind of like what I'm doing right now, but I am swiping, isn't that horrible? But um, I just want to make sure that up there is kind of. And um, I'm gonna go back into that fluffy brush and just blend all that out. Just blend out the uh, top of it so there's no uh, harsh lines. I'm gonna go back into Is Isabel and just blend that out somewhere. And then for the brow bone, I have my brow bone brush. I use that thing all the time. So I'm just gonna take these, it's a lip brush, but it's from, uh, 
I don't know where it's from. It's called BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to go into the makeup uh, palette that Mario made and just use Lula, Isabel, and Hollywood. Just use those colors. That is actually what I'm all I'm going to do with the eyes. I'm going to take a Kajol liner by Essence, which is my favorite one, and it's in bronze. I'm going to put that on the waterline. Just to open the eyes, but still have something there. I'm not gonna tight line. I'm just gonna um, I'm not gonna curl my lashes. I'm just gonna use my no. I'm not gonna use my Ulta one. Yes, I am. I'm gonna use my Ulta one because other one I don't use. And when you're doing this, definitely look down because since I don't have anything, no wing liner protecting my um my eye look. Sometimes the mascara can get can transfer onto the um the lid itself so that just freaking mascara is awesome this is an ultra mascara it's called the plush dramas voluminous mascara holy crap like my lashes aren't you know crazy bad like are thin i think they've been wearing lashes lately they just been getting sparse but i need to start putting my, my uh castor oil back on them but um this mascara definitely is goals So apply as many coats as you want to. This I apply probably three or four coats with this mascara before, and it hasn't made my lashes uh, clumpy, which is good. Anything I have the black opal true color and beyond bronze, and I think this wasn't my match, but I think I'm gonna try it out again. If it comes up, if it opens. Oh, I'm just gonna do. Oh, okay. Wait, that was too much. Okay. I don't think this is my shade, but. Oh, this is not my shade. This is actually. No, no, wait. Is it my shade? Looks like it's dark. Huh. Maybe it was just a bad makeup day because it looks like my shade, but I look also too. Uh... And this is not. <laughs> I should wipe my sponge, but you know what? Mm. I'm gonna use a brush instead. Back to find my brush. I lose everything. Didn't I say it before my other videos? I lose everything. I'm gonna use a real tech, um, not real techniques. I can't use this brush either. Well, I am today. I'm gonna use a uh, a cosmetics brush and put a pop or two on there, my face. I think it's bad. I'm gonna go into my shape take concealer as usual because that's all I've been using. And I really like it. I do want to try the uh, the Becca Luminous one, even though I have oily skin. I just want to try it and see. I don't have any breakouts right now, but why not?
No, I'll stick to what I know. Just needs a little bit of a um, blush and some highlighter. And the highlighter I'm going to use is my Gilded Honey highlighter from Laura Geller. I'm going to highlight. Thank Jesus, my highlight. I just put it right there. I look like King Dot. So I'm gonna start off with this lip lingerie from NYX and Teddy. Gorgeous. And I'm going to take Bear It All and put that in the middle. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you, like I said before in my previous videos, you know, follow me on any of my social media networks and uh, like and subscribe, uh, definitely. And I hope you enjoy your night and your weekend. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.